um, is in the process of moving to Atlanta anyways. It just happened. Vaughn is getting released from jail in Atlanta. So she, you know, she comes, she's, she's getting settled in. She goes and picks Vaughn up, helps him to get his affairs in order and stuff like that, getting out of jail. And so because he didn't have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving, that is the only reason I extended that invitation. Okay. Vaughn has been in my house before. Okay. Me saying, hey, here's a plate is no different than me going down as I do before the pandemic to help feed the homeless for Thanksgiving. Okay? He was homeless. So I fed him. Okay? Are y'all following me? Are y'all following me? Please hit the thumbs up or the wine glass if y'all following me. Please do. Y'all following me? Okay. Now, so that's when you saw him in my house for Thanksgiving. That was it, guys. Didn't even know he was recording the entire time in my home for Thanksgiving. We don't really record private moments with my family and other extended friends because y'all don't see me put my friends and shit on social media like that or tell their business. But he around there with a camera and uses it as content. And sends me the video telling me to approve it. I said, no, you need to blur everybody's face out. If people would have known they were being recorded for social media at my house without telling them, you don't do that. You tell people you have fucking cameras. The fuck? I thought he was taking pictures. So I nipped that shit in the butt. Okay? Don't fucking do that. You want to upload the video? Everybody's face better be fucking blurred out. Period. We're talking about Von Ray. He's a, he is the epitome of a fucking cloud chaser. It is gross. It is fucking gross. As much as he was willing to do to be famous, and he's not fucking talented. He's not talented. Anything. Anywhere he go, he yell, hey. Okay. This is about Storm. I'm getting to Storm. Because Storm is in this because of me. Now... When he gets out, I knew that Storm had a new apartment he was moving to. I was asking Storm, Storm, why are you li Storm lived around the corner from me. Storm, why are you living around the corner in a five, six bedroom house, 5,000 square feet, and you're the only person living there? What are you doing? Take your ass to the city. Take your ass to the city. And live your, you, you young, you live your life. Go do what you do. Get you a nice apartment in Buckhead. So finally he listened to me. He went and got the nice bachelor pad in Buckhead. He's in the city. He loves it now. He's like, Tasha, I should have did this a long time ago. I tried to tell you. I know you wanted to be closer to me, but you have a life to live. You're single. You have no kids. Go live in the city. So the house was vacant, was going to be vacant for two months. So I asked Storm as a favor for me on behalf of Chelsea, because she was in the process of getting an apartment and Vaughn was in the process of getting his apartment. Could he rent a room to Vaughn? He said, Tasha, no problem. I'm not even worried about that. I'm not here. He need the place. He can stay. But when I turn in the keys, he got to go. Okay. He got to go. So, um, okay. Now, in the process of him trying to get on his feet, Latoya ends up filing, uh, basically taking money out of his account, took like $2,000 out of his account, told Chelsea he had good credit, come to find out he can't get a car. He has no car. He can't get an apartment. So he's around here applying for apartments and applying for cars. Now, mind you, he says he has a 640 credit score. I'm like, let me see the credit report. I'll give it to my partners and let them work on it. He would never let me see the credit report. So I'm like, okay, try Capital One. Mind you, let me tell you how easy Capital One is to get a car loan at. Capital One is the fucking easiest to establish after bankruptcy or no credit. As long as you got above a 620, Capital One will give you a fucking loan. My brother did seven years in prison, federal prison. He served the entire sentence. When my brother got out, I helped to reestablish his, you know, everything. I told him, you, you haven't used your social security in seven years. Apply for Capital One. No job, no nothing. Cap Why Capital One give him a loan for $30,000 and he went and bought an Audi? So you mean to tell me you go to jail, you have a car before you go to jail. You were only in jail three months. And the reason you was in jail three months is because of COVID. You couldn't see a judge. Y'all be careful. Don't be fucking going to jail. Okay, during COVID, because your ass will sit to see a judge. It ain't like you go to jail, you see a judge the next day. You go to jail, you see a judge three months from now. 
okay? So he goes to jail, gets out, says he has all this, and even the white Range Rover was his, found out it was in Toya's name, LaToya Forever's name. She repoed that fucking car, okay? And so he can't get a car. So Chelsea's like, the fuck? He's like, I just need some time. I'm going to make these videos. You know, I need some advertisements. Can you get me some ads? Me, he ain't got no followers, y'all. Nothing. So how are we going to get you ads and you get no followers or, or views, okay? Now, hold on. Now, so he just lying. Oh, I'm going to get an apartment. I'm going to get this. So anyway, he ended up having to call a friend of his who ended up uh, uh, throwing him under the bus to LaToya to get a job as a garbage truck driver. Okay? So, <clears throat> as a garbage truck driver. So, he he's basically getting up 2 o'clock in the morning, driving garbage trucks, but he was trying not to work. He was trying to only work on videos, but you're not making... If you're not making videos consistent, you got to go to work. So Chelsea ends up getting, now mind you, let me tell you how well Chelsea doing for herself. Chelsea has an apartment in New York City. In New York City. Not in the projects. Two bedrooms. I think the rent is close to 2000 2500 Very nice apartment. The apartment is still there. All the utilities are on. The rent is paid every month. She ends up getting an apartment down here that's almost $2,000 a month downtown in Atlanta. Why people are paying $2,000 at rent in Atlanta, I don't fucking know. That is absolutely absurd to me. That is crazy, okay? So she ends up getting the apartment. He says, I'm going to pay the rent. She says, no problem. The first come around, he, he's starting fights with her. You know, you, you need to go get a BBL. You need to do this. Just talking shit about her. Right? All, like, where did this come from? Right? And so she's like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Then he started calling me to talk shit about her. I said, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. That's not what we're doing. Okay? How do you talk shit about the very woman who gave you a pot to put your dick in to piss, bitch? How? You have no, you're driving her fucking Mercedes. She has a 2020 fucking Mercedes. You're driving her Mercedes. You're living in her house. And now the rent is due. And now you want to tell her, oh, you want to be, uh, um, she need to have, she need to go get herself together. Her titties sag like an old lady. She needs to get a BBL because he said on record three times, that he took LaToya ass down to Miami three times, LaToya forever to get a BBL three times. Y'all ready for the story? You about to get it, okay? I'm, I've, been, I've been tired of this fuck shit. I've been tired of this fuck shit. Now, he just getting her in deep. She's like, this is not what we taught. Like, this is not how you were talking in jail. Chelsea's always dated guys that own businesses. Okay, she fucked up and dated a piece of shit. I told you about the piece of shit I fucking dated. The nigga was gay. I didn't even know he was gay. What the fuck are you doing? Took Latoya to Miami to have three fucking BBLs. She had a BBL every time she had a fucking back. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. Now, okay? So, he talking shit to her. Meantime, meantime, let me go back now. He's trying to get close to Storm. So what happened was when he met Storm, that's when he started talking shit about Chelsea. I don't know if y'all remember, there was a video Storm put up on his channel um, and Vaughn was yelling at Chelsea in, in, in Storm's house. Mind you, we, we get Storm to allow him to move in, okay? And all of a sudden, him and Storm, he getting close to Storm, not sexually or nothing like that. They just boys, cause Storm ain't got no Storm don't really hang with nobody. He he stays by himself. He's literally the loner kid. He don't do all he does is work. He works, 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 travels to go see his family. He works. So Vaughn knew what the fuck he was doing. 
So, okay, I don't, I'm, let me try to get away from Chelsea so I don't have to be dependent on her. Then we'll talk shit about her. You trying to make me sound like I can't do it. I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You talking down on me. You trying to say you doing stuff for me. She is. What are you doing? So then, you know, he starts talking, you know, trying to uh, inadvertently record Chelsea, you know, saying, you know, she's, you know, I guess maybe she was trying to go through his phone. Well, let me see your phone if you ain't got nothing to hide, right? Women do that. Ain't no passcodes on no phones in our house. Okay. We on a family account. These phones talk to each other in our house. <laughs> okay. And so he basically recorded her saying, you know what? You can go through all my, you can go through my phone if you want. But if a bitch want to fuck me, she going to lie to you and say, she ain't fucking me, but we'll still be fucking you. Some shit like that. So I called Storm. I was like, what the fuck is on your channel? Take that shit the fuck down. What are you doing? That's my team member. Chelsea's not... When have you ever seen Chelsea or any nigga on social media degrade Chelsea? Never. Take it, take it the fuck down. Okay, so I called Vine. I said, what the fuck are y'all doing? Now, Chelsea, she, she pissed, but she don't want to go there. Okay? So I, I knew she was pissed. I was like, I'm, I'm fucking going to nip this shit in the bud. So he tried to blame it on Storm. No, 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 nigga. You wanted to do that. He's the only nigga that's always trying to film everybody around him to make them look bad. He's a fucking cloud chaser. He's ridiculous. So I nipped that in the bud. I told Chelsea, be careful. But you know, you can't tell people what to do with their life. You can't tell. You can give an opinion, girl. Listen, you don't need to fuck this nigga. And because of you, I put a policy in place so this won't happen again. Okay? If you want to fuck somebody, you guys want to you sleep together, that's fine. But you're going to have to separate from the company to do that because this is not don't this is not what I want. Okay? I'm fucking busy and I'm on I, I get back to their level. What the fuck is going on? Okay? What the fuck is going on? And, and they said the kids are out of control. They was out of control, y'all. It was like, you know how you leave? You know how your mama used to leave to go to the store and the kids used to fuck up or she used to go to work and leave y'all in the house? I remember my mama used to leave us in the house when she went to work all day and we didn't clean up until she came home. Like, literally, we were like, mama outside, clean this motherfucker up. And she know we ain't clean the fucking house. She done whooped all our asses. You know what I'm saying? She done whooped all our asses. Now, so... But these are grown people. These are grown people and I understand. But you got to understand, Vaughn has a pattern. This has been a pattern. Okay? So, Vaughn is talking to Storm, you know, telling Storm all this. He even came up with the idea of them doing a podcast together, the light-skinned niggas. They came and asked me, what should we call it? I said, y'all should call it the light-skinned niggas. Y'all going to talk about relationships and stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm encouraging work. Be productive. You know, they said, cool. So they called the, the podcast the Light Skin Niggas. Now, what I noticed about Storm, right, is that it, it's easy. It happens. When I was younger, it happened. Storm is young. When you, friend, you know how they, that old saying, birds of a feather flock together? Okay, birds of a feather. So what happens is when you meet someone, Storm just met Vaughn. Literally hasn't been a month and a half and all this shit has transpired. And Storm is like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going off social media. I don't blame him. I told him not to. It's not worth it. But he cannot take too much bad energy. That's how people are. People are sensitive. He can't take the shit. I don't blame him. Okay? Now, Vaughn is fucking, you know, doing all this, telling him all this. I don't know what the fuck you're telling him or whatever. But, um... Hold on, let me get some water. My mouth dry. Hold on, hold on. Hmm. So, I, I don't know the gist. I, I do know Storm was not fucking Vaughn, okay? Um, Vaughn comes over my house and says some shit about Storm that I thought was just... You're living in the man's house. And this is how I had to put two and two together. You're living in the man's house. The man got give you a fucking roof over your head. And now you're over here talking shit about him. I just put that in the back of my mind. I was just like, okay, Storm is already out the house. These two are going to be separated. So they, he ends up moving in with Chelsea. Chelsea gets the apartment in her name. So mind you, she's got two apartments that are close to $4,000. One in New York, one in downtown Atlanta. Concierge, everything. Okay, these ain't no just fucked up apartments. All right. 
like I said, she got her shit together. She's a pretty girl with a good head on her fucking shoulders. She makes her own fucking money, okay? She don't need no nigga for shit. A nigga is dessert to her. Fucking dessert. Now, Vaughn over here talking shit to Storm about Chelsea, talking shit to me about Chelsea and Storm, and talking shit to Chelsea about who, what the fuck she does, and then wants to throw Storm under the bus to Chelsea. This is all Vaughn. And I'm sitting there, and I'm watching. Then I hear, Vaughn says, Storm says Tasha K is toxic. What? Me and Storm talk all the time. He's at every event. And he was separating himself from me. Then he tells Chelsea. And then goes back and says, Storm didn't say it like that. So Chelsea went and confronted Storm. I didn't say Storm said that. You're lying. You're, I didn't say Storm said that. You're lying, Chelsea. Why the fuck would you lie? Storm is sitting here fucking confused. Vaughn is literally a bitch. He's a bitch. So basically, he's trying to put everybody against each other. So, oh, you don't even talk to Tasha? Oh, she toxic? Well, what did he tell you about our toxicity? He didn't give him no fucking details. He don't know shit. You don't fucking know shit. He's worse than Jaguar Wright. Vaughn is the male version of fucking Jaguar Wright. Storm didn't fucking say that shit. The nigga ain't had no details because when he was confronted about it in front of Storm, the nigga was like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's how you put somebody on the spot. Also, um, of course, Chelsea going to go back and ask Storm. Did you say, Vaughn told me that you said um, Tasha K was toxic and you were separating yourself. Storm was like, what, what, what? What are you talking about? Okay, what are you talking about? Vaughn, I, I didn't say that. Hit the background. I didn't say that. I, I, you're lying. I didn't say that. That's not what he said. I, I made that up. I made that up because I figured that him and Tasha aren't hanging together all the time, that that's what it was. Meanwhile, he, he moving Storm over here to do a podcast, all this shit, talking about all these plans they got going on and trying to get Chelsea and Tasha K somewhat at odds. Okay? So then, Vaughn is talking shit. To Chelsea, Vaughn gets on a fucking Tinder app after he asked Chelsea to set up his phone. So Chelsea got the phones talking, nigga download the app. He downloads a fucking Tinder app. So how you laying in her bed? They just moved into an apartment. It was an air mattress or whatever. Okay. So you want to come out here talking about you fucked on an air mattress? Bitch, you didn't even have a mattress. You ain't have a mattress to lay nowhere. You ain't have a mattress to... You ain't have a mattress... All that fucking acne you got on your face? You ain't even have no dirty sheets on a motherfucking mattress, okay? To get you goddamn acne. Homeless bitch. Now. Chelsea called me. He on Tinder. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm like... I, I said, let me, let me put this out to the winos. See what they got to say. Okay? <clears throat> now, you lay in Chelsea's bed on the phone downloading apps to see who you could fuck living in her house. Now, it's about to get good. This shit is about to get the fuck good. Okay? So, I called Storm. Storm was on his way somewhere. I was like, yo, um, Chelsea's about to make a separation from Vaughn. I want you to proceed with caution. And I told him a story about what Chelsea found on Vaughn's phone. Do you guys know who Mr. Two Weeks is? So Mr. Two Weeks is a celebrity trainer. He's married. Okay, married to a woman. Very popular on Instagram. You can go Google Mr. Two Weeks. Von Ray and Mr. Two Weeks are friends because they worked in, in the same gym, okay? Remember all that shit about Jeffree Star and Von Ray fucking Jeffree Star? Well, Chelsea ended up finding text messages of a thread between Mr. Two Weeks, Von Ray, and Jeffree Star. 
they were planning a trip to Miami and Mr. Two Weeks was going to Miami to meet Jeffree Star. They're all three in the text. And Vaughn was going to be Mr. Two Weeks' cover for him to go to Miami to see Jeffree Star. But they're his personal trainers. They're his personal trainers. Okay? And my thing is, if Vaughn is not gay, and Vaughn has tried to talk to me, tell my please don't drag Jeffrey. He's such a nice guy. All he does is talk about his alpacas. I can get him an interview with you. So you mean to tell me you're in a text thread with Jeffree Star, Mr. Two Weeks, and, and Vaughn is in a text thread, and you are literally playing the cover guy for a Mr. Two Weeks to go to Miami to fuck. So he tells his wife he's going with you, another personal trainer, and you're covering as a straight man for another supposed straight man who's married to go fuck a gay man. Fuck out of here. Y'all, listen. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. So I told Storm, I said, you need to back up. Be careful. Storm goes back and tells Vaughn, what I say? So I'm pissed. The only thing I'm pissed that story about is don't you ever fucking repeat a conversation that I had with you. I don't give a fuck who you talk to, who you talk about, but don't you ever, ever in your life, if I get on a phone call with you, it's confidential. It's like the fucking president talking to his watch house, his fucking staff. Okay? Don't you ever do that. That's the only thing I got pissed with him about. And then I told him all the shit that Vaughn said about him that... I never said anything about it. And I would never put that shit out, ever. It's none of nobody's business. But I'm like, you think this motherfucker's your friend? This motherfucker is not your friend. Because if he's your friend, why is he in my house telling me shit about you? I already clocked him. That's why I called you to tell you to, to fucking start to separate. But instead, you go back and tell him what the fuck I said. Then he goes and gets in Chelsea's face. Why the fuck would you tell uh, uh, Tasha K about my goddamn text message with Jeffree Star in less than two weeks? You know what Chelsea has to do? Chelsea has to go and get a restraining order. He fucking throwing, he hitting his head like this, y'all. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? The only reason I told Storm not to, first of all, if I'm having a private conversation with you, you shouldn't repeat that. At all. If I wanted everybody to know, I would be out here. Now I want everybody to know. But why I told Storm that is so Storm or, or, or Vaughn wouldn't try to come move in with Storm. And I asked Storm, I said, is he living with you? Because when he had to leave, he was asked to leave by the police. I said, is Vaughn living with you? No, he's not. I said, he ain't there. No, okay. Because if he is, it will be fucked up because of the shit that he said about you. Okay. That's the only thing Storm was wrong about. But you know what? You live and you learn. That's my fucking boy. Fuck it. Fuck it. I would tell, trust me, there ain't nothing I'm not afraid to say to anybody that's on my team. We all keep it 1,000% real. No matter how hard it hurts, we tell each other the fucking truth. That's how I built my fucking brand. It doesn't matter. If I got a problem with you, I'm going to tell you. So I know this is overwhelming to him because you go from not having any acquaintances or social circle. Now you got a social circle as I'm talking about a storm and now all this shit is toxic and you feel overwhelmed. So now you want to separate yourself from everybody. I told him to go take a break. I said, go take a break and you come back and you get back to your fucking content. What the fuck are you doing on the internet telling people how you fucking bitches in a fucking sex club and, 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 and fucking this person? And guess what? Guess what? They're going to be the first on the internet talking about, oh, you're a creator. You're a public figure. He is sexual assault. It's this, all this. Are you fucking crazy? You fucking stupid? Last thing you want to do is put yourself out there as a sexual being so they can use that as character evidence when a bitch get up to fucking lie. Get the fuck out of here. You got to be smarter than that. So you know, you're going to risk everything you built for a motherfucker like this to prove what? What are you proving? What are you proving? You're storm. What the fuck are you proving? You don't need to prove shit to nobody. You built your fucking channel. And now this motherfucker here is about to try to take this shit down because the path you're going down, guess what's happening? It only takes one accusation. And guess what? All the stories you talked about online, they're going to put that together and they're going to build a character and make you look like this person and you're going to lose every fucking thing you don't work for. And I will never let that fucking happen because I'm going to tell you the fucking truth right now. 
If your mama ain't gonna fucking tell you, your sister ain't gonna fucking tell you, Yvonne ain't gonna fucking tell you, I'm gonna fucking tell you. You keep your fucking sex life as a man off the fucking internet. Now, now, Storm is taking a mental break, as he should. As he should. And I told my fucking friend the truth. The fucking truth. I don't know what Vaughn said to you to get you to, to do this. But yes. Yeah, you, this is where you're going to fucking go. The fuck are y'all talking about going to sex clubs together? But what the fuck is this? That's not your brand. And your brand is predominantly 98% fucking black women. You think they're going to sit up and hear you talk about you smashing bitches and don't care? What the fuck? You don't have an audience full of men? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? And Vaughn is praying on you at the same time, talking shit, lying about you. you. You need to back up. Back up from everybody. What the fuck? And this is my fault for even asking you to allow him to rent a room. But I thought it was like, okay, you're not there. But look what has transpired. Look what has fucking transpired. I had to write a goddamn bylaw. To say nobody can fucking fraternize with each other in my company. No more. No more. And I told you, you need to take all that fucking sexual shit down. Yeah, you're having sex. You haven't had sex in a long time. Okay, it's good. Yes, it feels good. But real men, men, men don't talk. Mature men don't talk about sex. That's like 18 year olds. What the fuck are you doing? You're single. Fuck who you want to fuck. But don't fuck and get on the internet and say it. And then guess what? That bitch probably going to get mad that you're fucking putting her out. But you may not say her name. Then she's going to say it was rape. What the fuck are you doing? I will not let you fucking tear down what you built for nobody. So that's why he decided to denounce Von Ray. That's why. I didn't tell him to. But I told him you need to be careful. You need to be fucking careful. Because if this was your friend, somebody you gave a fucking place to stay and didn't charge him, and he turns around and says the fucking bullshit he says about you, this nigga is fucking, he's a parasite. He's a parasite. He's homeless, can't get a fucking car, can't get a house. That's why your ass is sitting up in a fucking garbage truck, living in a goddamn hotel room right now. How the fuck you get out of jail and you ain't got nowhere you can go? You got two kids, my nigga. You got two kids. You got two motherfucking kids, two baby mamas. You can't go live with neither one of them bitches. You can't go live with neither one of them bitches? Fuck out of here. Now, that's what the fuck happened. Chelsea found out who the fuck Vaughn really was. And when Toya called me and said, this man is gay, he called me and said he didn't have no money and asked me permission to see if he could go fuck Jeffree Star for some bread. And that's when I left him the fuck alone. Okay? And then Chelsea finds text messages between him and Mr. Two Weeks. And everybody's been whispering about Mr. Two Weeks here in Atlanta for a long time. The wife is a cover. But now you're telling your wife that I'm going to Miami with another trainer. We got a show or whatever. But you really fly private to see Jeffree Star. And Jeffrey has orgies. He has group sex. He has orgies. And this is a black woman's life. Mr. Two Weeks or whoever Vaughn is fucking. They put in bitches' lives at risk. At risk? So I mean, that, that's an investment. That's an investment. And if he can't see it, I'm 40 years old. I can fucking see a piece of shit when I see him. And when I, I can, it's only so much you can tell. It's like a, it's like a mom having a daughter. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. What she end up doing? Going to get pregnant by the nigga. The mama end up raising the baby. But Chelsea was smart enough to get away before it got there because he kept telling Storm he was gonna get Chelsea pregnant. Man, get the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. And that's why, that's why that Queen Tulsa, I love her. She's funny. But why would Vaughn be having conversations with a transgender about his relationship and telling a transgender woman, 
Queen Tulsa about him only fucking Chelsea, but he's living in a living in her house, driving her car, all types of shit. What are you doing? So you're you're going you're going to confide in a transgender woman about your sex life with a real woman. Queen Tulsa got online and said that. Queen Tulsa got online and said that. Queen Tulsa is a transgender woman, which means it's a man who no longer lives as a man and lives as a woman and identifies as a woman. But you have not met Queen Tulsa. You've never seen Queen Tulsa that I know of. And now you're on the phone having personal conversations with a transgender woman about the woman who helped you to get back on your feet and saying that you're just fucking her, but you don't want the stigma that you're gay. Yet there's proof that you were the cover man for Mr. Two Weeks to go and fuck Jeffree Star. And I believe you were participating in those orgies because everybody knows Jeffree Star keeps California, California Grand King beds and they have orgies with other men. And then Vaughn is trying to talk Storm into starting an OnlyFans. They're going to be on OnlyFans doing what? What are you going to do? So what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Same way motherfuckers call me out on here. I'm, I'm putting this shit in the bud. What are you doing? Chelsea has tested. Her test results are fucking negative. She went and did that as soon as she found out that the nigga was living a double life. Now, we ain't never seen him putting his dick in nobody, but you you communicate with way too many LGBTQ for you to not be gay as a fucking straight man. And the way this nigga gossip and start shit is giving me bitch vibes. Fuck out of here. Bitch vibes. Chelsea is taking the proper procedure, okay, to keep this motherfucker away from her. Now, if Vaughn got a problem, address me. Address me. I'm putting it out there. She ain't even put your shit out there. Storm, put your, Storm just denounced you. Chelsea put you out. Latoya forever put you out. You stand in a fucking hotel. Address me, bitch. Address me. You tried to come in and ruin what the fuck we had going on, all this fucking positive energy, and you want to come in with that top people. That's why motherfuckers can't help nobody these days. Th that's why, let me tell you, when I tell you the only way he got in, and when I told Chelsea them, y'all cannot fucking date no more public figures. Done. Done. My husband's not a public figure. We've been married almost 16 years. Not a public figure. Somebody got to be in front. Somebody got to be behind. It's far, not even behind. Two different roles. I'm on camera. My husband behind the camera. What the fuck? Like, it's got to be a, a, a yin and a yang. So, yes, Storm denounced for his, for his protection of his platform. What? It's not, I'm thinking they're going to they gonna start a podcast and talk about male relationships. They're talking a podcast, talking about sex, smashing women all day. And find you in a relationship and storm, you, 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 you just started having sex again. You were celibate. What the fuck? Storm is fine. He going he gonna to toughen up. This is the part of the game. I've been getting dragged since I've been on here. But guess what? That's a part of being human. You get dragged. You get critiqued. You get a reality check. You get a reality check. That's cool. But all that other fuck shit. Fuck. That nigga. I was like, do you realize this nigga's about to fucking help you to take the very thing down that you built? And he's trying to align himself with you to use your fucking platform? He's the. I'm telling you, he is a male version of Jaguar fucking right. Anyway, 
I just wanted to put that out there and address it. Everything has been nipped in the bud. Chelsea's fine. Back single dating. She got two apartments. And Atlanta that she pays for. A Mercedes. Vine is probably in the motel late. He in some hotel. It ain't no five-star hotel, I tell you that much. Okay? So, I love you guys. I'm going to get some rest. I got a long day tomorrow. I'm going to figure out if we're going to go live on Friday. I think I may have some more stuff to do with my lawyers and stuff. But if not, we definitely will be. I will let y'all know if we're going to do fucking Friday, okay? I will let y'all know. But I have a lot of wine, a lot of fucking wine, okay? All right, happy one million. I'm not pregnant, y'all. This is my paternity clothes. And let me tell you, I got these from, what's the name of that goddamn maternity store? It's an, it's an expensive-ass maternity store. But these shirts here were $40. This is a $40 T-shirt. I'm never throwing it away. I will fucking sleep in it until I can't wear it no more, okay? Okay? I love you guys. I'm going to sleep. Bye.